Well, hello, and welcome to another, um, you know, ad hoc um, episode of Crafting Check. Um, I actually have a new um, guest. I have Jared, aka Badger. Um, What's up? So we're gonna have some some fun. Yes, we are. As you can see on the screen, we're starting with testes tonight. That is correct. That is correct. But uh, so, James, what did we what did we make last time? Just as a recap. Uh, so. Last time we made um, a weird giraffe-like creature that had multiple heads and was able to do some pretty um, wicked things. So I, I still owe everyone a stat block. Um, don't have that created yet, but, um, you know, life gets busy. But we will be re-engaging in that and um, having a pretty interesting whirlwind of events from that creature. I think what we're going to probably do is, for all these creatures, uh, make them in three different tiers. So, like, more of um, an adolescent style, you know, so if it's a creature that, you know, gets older. And then go to um, a mature, and then we'll go to 
um, full on, you know, I won't say ancient, but um, maybe a legacy or something like that. And that'll be the ultimate um, final form, so to speak. Maybe we could uh, throw around the idea of uh, a crafting check channel for stat blocks, stuff like that to go into. Oh, could just man. go into creative, but you never I, know. I think we can do that. I think we can add that to the Discord. That'd be great. Uh, and what are we creating this week, James? Well, um, this week it's going to be entirely up to, um, well, everyone but me. So, uh, <laughs> now Jared, I know you mentioned that you had some ideas. If you would like to um, go ahead and start pitching them, then we can... Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. I, stuff has been mingling around in my brain the past couple of days. And I'll tell you, uh, I got some inspiration on Monday, specifically Monday night. Uh, because I was watching this really cool game called Dampiers, right? <laughs> and there was something that I had not seen before. I don't remember the name of it, but it was the terracotta yes. thing. Yes, yes. So it's like a swarm, but different. Yep, it's a, a troop. And so, a troop. Yeah. So I was thinking that maybe we could make a troop today. Oh, excellent. And also, I was hoping, I'm going to throw out another idea, a little avatar style where we mix two just like ordinary animals. And I would like one of them to be the badger. And that, then that's fantastic. Throw out ideas for the other animal, y'all. What have we got? A wombat. Oh. oh. A badger womp. See, I was thinking something a little less similar. Maybe. All right. Um, <laughs> now, are we talking about um, two separate um, type of creatures that are in this troop that help each other? You know, uh, initially the idea was to do it in the avatar style where it was the the creature was just an entire mix of that of those two animals. One creature, like what? What do they have the 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 bear or whatever it is? Oh, okay, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, they've got you got two animals, smash them together. Now you've got one animal. Yep. Yeah. What the hell was the name of that bear? Oh, I can't remember. I can't, I can't remember either. anymore. An owl bear is actually a good example. Yeah. yeah. It is. It is. Ooh. I like this, and they'll be you know pretty intelligent enough to um form you know a troop that will put a hurting on you i like that mm -hmm. yep yep all right let's see a badger and a python oh. interesting so are we thinking Lizardish, like snake, a python body, a furry, badger head, I and legs. Absolutely, um, hate this. <laughs> a, a, a nice, a, a big old troop. A, a hairy snake. Like, I, I don't like this, but I think it's. I think that's perfect. Because <laughs> that, okay. So the troop that was in Dampier's spoilers was. 15 by 15 right or was it 20 yeah. by 20 no um i think it started off 20 by 20 and then um as you as you beat it down whittle it down it, it gets smaller and smaller yeah. yeah so just 400 square feet 
of furry snakes. Oh. Oh. Sounds pretty imposing. Yeah. The head. The head is not a badger head. It's a snake head in the shape of a badger head. Ooh. With badger teeth? Maybe. What's worse? What's worse? What would you rather, chat? What would you what would you rather not see? What would you least like to see would be this this hairy snake with a badger head with badger teeth or with the regular snake teeth? Cause I can't decide which one I think is worse. <laughs> oh. I I don't know, because this is this is pretty awful. <laughs> badger teeth? Badger teeth that still, well, you did say python, and those aren't venomous, so I guess it's not a venomous creature. Oh, no. It's going to, you know, grab you, constrict you with its, with its furriness, and then just gnaw on you while it's, it's going, constricting. It's going to grapple the shit out of you, oh. and then just, like, rip you apart. Yikes. Ugh. Upper arms... Oh, mm. kind of like crawling with a slither. That is horrifying. Yeah. Imagine it grabs you like this and then all of a sudden the, t the, le uh, the rest of the body just whips around you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> while it's just holding you like this. Okay, but <laughs> let's also take it a funny direction. I like that better, upper arms. But we also do have to consider the much funnier option of only hind legs. <laughs> Oh no. Oh. That is. Oh. Just a slithery snake body on the ground with just like the legs just trying to catch patter, up. Patter, 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 patter. <laughs> <laughs> so. But I do you... like upper arms better because they can also be muscular. Yeah. But if, if it was done the other way, it's. It, it makes me think of like a broken tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> You've got two bicycle wheels on the back and the front wheels just flat. It's just busted. <laughs> and it's just slithering like, oh, I wish I had upper arms. <laughs> I can't wait until I evolve upper arms too. I... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. So, so we'll say now, I mean, we could be easy. We can, I mean, this is a whole troop. So some of them could have, you know, legs and some of them can have arms and that's it. I was thinking the same thing. It's like, if this is a troop, there could be a combination of a lot of different badger pythons. Oh, poor thing. One arm and then one leg. <laughs> But both on the same side. Yep, it just goes around in circles. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yikes! I. This is terrifying. I. It is. Yeah, I don't like it at all. <laughs> I love it. Oh man. And just because of this, you know, I'm definitely going to do a stat block for um, the troop, but I'm going to do a stat block for like um, a commander that is going to have, you know, that's going to be built like this, but it's going to be much larger. I mean, it's kind of like uh, in a much different direction. It's kind of like a like a naga. Yeah, yeah. But. Whenever I think of Nagas, though, they're like, oh, it's like, that's actually pretty majestic. This, this terrifies me. Yeah. Pretty much everything about it. Yeah. Oh, I have another idea. Let me just, just real quick, I'm going to interject because it's real fast. I'm going to type a name of an NPC into 
the the Google, the mm -hmm. Googles, and you're gonna read it out loud. Okay. okay. It's a it's a guy. It's a it's an older fellow, not like grade, but like maybe starting to gray. Okay. So like, if you think about in a knight status, like pretty up there. I imagine knights are kind of like sports, professional sports athletes, right? Whereas when you get to like 30, like you're considered old. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like you're in a line of work that doesn't, you don't last very long. But anyways, so this is a guy. All right. So he's a knight. So he's going to be a sir. All right. Okay. His first name. Ten. His last name. Teneth. Sir Tendeth. Sir Tendeth. Yep. Okay. <laughs> you said it, but I don't think you... Did you catch it? I, I didn't at first. Nice. I don't know that he lasts the whole campaign. No. Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. He... Uh, he's going to definitely say something along the lines of like the old um, cop buddy shows. Like, I'm too old for this shit. And he literally will be because I don't think he's going to survive. Nope. nope. <laughs> this Man. guy has been hired to uh, hunt down the troop of of pigers, ba ba badger pythons. Ooh. And he just gets meat with like, <laughs> yes, a, a, a giant fucking swarm of juvenile badger pythons just yeah, because they tiny think that... legs just flipping and flapping swirling yeah the juvenile crawling. ones have something to prove though because they're like well okay boomer and they're just going right at them they're probably much less hardy than an adult badger python oh yeah but Far more aggressive. Yep. Oh, that's good. I like that. I do too. Now, now name. Now do. We, I heard you say um, pigers. Anything else, potentially? Because uh, I think that that works. Like this, like that. Yep. Nice. Just swarming you. God. This freaking hairy snakes. Enough said. I'm so happy. You you should that, be that the dungenerates will get to face this. They will, they will. Are they om omnivores? I think the answer to that is probably technically yes, but in the opposite way of like squirrels. Oh, because <laughs> you know how squirrels are technically omnivores and they will eat other animals, but they're much more like gatherers yeah. eating you know seeds acorns things that they can find right but if they have to they'll fucking murk a bird and just just gnaw on it this is the other way yeah they would much rather get their their juicy just monchers on some nice flesh but if they have to they'll they'll go pick some strawberries or some shit that's my take that's a, that's a great take, and I can picture them um, talking amongst themselves. It's like, it's like, it's like you missed. Some, is that is that strawberries? It's like no, that's blood. Oh. <laughs> Just imagine if you do find. A, imagine you are a strawberry farmer, oh. and one day you go out to your field, and you find that your field has been devastated. And you start to hear this rustling. 
and you're like, what the fuck is that? You look over and there's a troop of pigers headed your way. <laughs> oh, we don't have to eat strawberries anymore. The farmer came out to the field. <laughs> Damn it. That was their appetizer. You remember the scene in The Mummy where they pour the the beetles on and they just like... <laughs> yep. That, that's what would happen. I, I imagine it a lot like that. Oh, yeah, 100%. Just, it comes swarming in. Pigeons meet farmer. <laughs> Skeleton. Skeleton. Yep. Which doesn't mean that he's actually gone because, you know... And Pathfinder, you know, skeletons is a playable ancestry. <laughs> That's fair. And then he, and then Farmer John comes back and wants to slay them. Well, now Farmer John has no beef with the Pigers because all they wanted was the meat. He's got no more meat, so he's oh. left to peacefully tend his strawberries now. That's true. That's true. It, it's like a, a great, crazy ecosystem there. Yeah. Understood. You come across an entire town that's just skeletons. And you're mm -hmm. like, whoa, what the fuck happened here? I don't worry about it. A troop of pie just came through not too long ago, but we're all set now. <laughs> They're Every gone. Everyone's happy now. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> oh, man. Well, man, we actually got through that one pretty darn quick. Cody, what was your skeletons? That's Cody, right? Avery Old? Is that a is that a fair guess? Maybe I'm I'm completely wrong. But somebody mentioned the handsome person that was on uh last time, and the only thing the only person that I know that thinks Cody is handsome is Cody. So That's true. That's true. That was just a joke, by the way. They're a very <laughs> handsome fellow. And I love your knees. <laughs> oh man. We don't we don't need Cody's head getting larger. He's fine. Cody, what is what was your skeleton's name? You had a skeleton gunslinger, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> you don't need a Bro, larger it head. It is big enough. Wow. I want to know how your skeleton gunslinger feels about troops of pigers uh, he's still talking about his head <laughs> he is still talking about his head leave it to Cody well the good news is we may have made it through that fairly quickly we did but we have an entire other thing that we can work on that is true that is absolutely true should I share my screen and you hmm. and chat can help me build this? You know what? We can. Um, I think it might mess up a couple things, but I can fix it. Um, yeah, go ahead and share. And then what I'll do is let me put it to the pull forefront this aside real quick. Just gonna get the my screen set up so that I can continue while also sharing. All right, there we go. But Share now screen. I know I need to add some other um, overlays oh, for this. Host has disabled participant screen sharing. What? Okay, let me um, fix that for you. Amos Dustmarrow. Uh, Cody, I'm glad you asked what I'm making. I am going to, James and I, and chat, we are going to be making my next character for One Shot Heroes. And of all things, I only have one preset, but two musts. There's only two musts. The preset that I have is that this will be a dwarf. 
The other must is that he must use maces as his weapons. And that's it. Understood. I was going to give the sub, you little turd. Oh, snap. It has already happened. All right. You should be able to share now. And then after you share, I will make adjustments. Actually, I will do this. Share. Yes, there we go. Boom. Hold on. Boop, boop, boop. Fixing it on the fly. You know what they say? A hype train is close. One more person needs to sub, gift, or use bits. Hell yeah, Cody. That's what I like to hear. Also, obviously, thank you so much, Cody, for gifting a sub. That's awesome. All right. All right, that'll work. Good enough for government work. That's what I say. That's right. All right. So, okay, and I'm sure everyone can see the the screen. So, what you're looking at is, so you got your dwarf, you got your um, background. Got the dwarf. Ba backgrounds up for grabs. Oh. Hmm. People, literally, the only thing that is set in stone right now is the ancestry. Well, you definitely want him to be skilled with his um, weapon. So, being a fighter, especially um, using dual weapons, is a good choice. Another That's right. one, two maces. Yeah, another one that wouldn't be so bad would also be. Um, uh, what else? Um, Rogue would would probably be a good one as well. You think Rogue would work with the with the maces? Simple weapons, rapier, sap, short bow, and short sword. Yeah, because I believe um, a mace is just considered a simple weapon. All righty. We'll take a look. But we can check it out. We'll see. For sure. If we can make Rogue work, I would prefer that. But. All right. So. Hmm. So when it comes down to um, background. To be honest, you could choose anything that revolves around. Um, that might give you a little because you're going to need that strength. So for the rogue, it's nice to have, um, you know, high decks, but if you want to do some damage, you still have to, you know, at least for the weapon and proficiency, then you're going to want to still have some strength. So those are yeah. probably your, your two top ones are going to be strength and, um, and decks. Do I set that, do I set that now? Decks, strength, so right there, the first thing you do is at the very top, um, you have strength, constitution. Strength, that's it. That's the one I want. Yep. And. Yeah, yep. fine. I'll take constitution. Yep. And now if you strength. want to change the background or the background, and you can choose a background that actually gives you um, dex or strength. 
What have we got now? We've got one that does strength, right? Background. Uh, is there one that'll give me dex and strength? There's typically one that'll give you either or, and then you have a freebie. Um, okay. Yeah, that one's intelligence, charisma, strength, and wisdom. Strength, and then I could choose strength and dex. Yep. A bounty hunter. All right. That also makes hey. sense. What do you? No, I said bounty hunter. Set. There we go. Strength and strength. Illegal. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Uh, nice. And then I've got two down here to choose from. I'm going to take another one in Constitution. And if you're sneaky, charisma is not super important because no one needs to see you. <laughs> fair, um, fair. Yeah. So, but I mean, the, and the thing that's nice about it is that with charisma, it's not just, you know, how people, you know, you know look at you and going, what? You know, it's like, is this person you know, what they would consider being a beast boy or someone that's more of a, you know, the hairy snake guy. Um, but it does help with um, intimidation and um, diplomacy and stuff like that as well. Charisma? Yeah. Okay. But I don't think, I mean, to be honest, I would not even care about the charisma part. Not for what this character build is. Welcome, welcome, Marshy. We uh, we just got finished uh, creating a monster, and we are now creating my next character for James's one shot heroes. I am fairly helpless when it comes to creating Pathfinder characters. Well. I've created a couple, but I don't know very much about Pathfinder still. And so I'm having chat help me build my next character, which basically there's two, there's two musts. It has to be a dwarf and they have to dual wield maces and that's it. Everything else is up for grabs. So right now we've, we've gone dwarf bounty hunter robe. That's what we're working with. Um, and we're just trying to figure out where to put this last free boost down here. So let's go. I would say probably go to, um, to will just <laughs> 25 points into strength. <laughs> oh, Marshy. Yes. If you could, if you could only, I mean, if I could, isn't there a, Hold on now. Hold on now. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, 18 is the, the highest you could really get. There's no, there's no poll in Twitch, right? I know you can do poll for like, you can bet channel points on like outcomes and stuff, but like, you can't just make a poll. Not that I know you can just of. Just ask chat. First person in chat to, to put one of wisdom, intelligence, or charisma wins. That's fair. So get your votes in. Wisdom it is. Boom. Finished. James, what level are we? Three? One. Um I believe just still one. Okay. Yeah. Easy, Marshy says. Easy. Yeah. yeah, wisdom is I'm telling you, it helps. <laughs> Those will saves. There's nothing worse than being um oh, what was that, Marshy? Um Um Dominated. You know Marcy likes being dominated. No, we're talking about the wormy boys that um destroyed us in agent oh. you know, agents of Edgewatch. That was oh. not a good time. 
That was not. <laughs> it was not a good time. You you just triggered at least two people's PTSD. Well, that's because um one of them was the one that had low will save, and was like, "Yeah, I'll do whatever you want me to do, Wormy Boys." And so he started attacking oh, us. Wormy Boys. What's next? Some skills. Yes. So, give me, give me more stealth. I want more stealth. More, more. All right. Yeah, Marshy, we should not have. We should have been able to defeat them. We just mix of low rolls and Figgle actually being dominated and doing well against us. <laughs> that's what. That's what did it. Uh, leave it to Cody. Yeah. So in this situation, and this is just just me, if I have um, certain things that have a very high, um, you know, plus to it already, and it's not training, then I I like to go for it. So like athletics, like this one. Yep. Yep. Got athletics. Uh, some thievery, maybe. Yep. Thievery is always good. Medicine. Medicine is very helpful. Because I tell you, four if you, left. If you don't have um, a, a good healer, then um, being able to do medicine on yourself is is very good. <laughs> All right, we got three left. The next three that are put in chat is what I'm going to go into, no matter what it is. Even if they tell me to put it in deception, diplomacy, and performance, that's where it's going. That's fantastic. What's it going to be, y'all? Performance. Of course, Cody would. Hell yeah. Well, now it's a Done. positive. Done. Marcia, give me one. performance again boom <gasps> wait religion here we go that's what i like to see we've got one more one two three four five six nope not six one two three four five i can't do that can i no nope, nope. i didn't think so yeah no one's already six been. seven eight james roll a d8 quick yeah oh diplomacy someone said <gasps> diplomacy <laughs> Damn you, Marshy. Clowns. Lore clowns. That is hilarious. Lore. Clowns. Yep. Add. Finished. Done. We did it. Boom. Finished. Lore clowns. Um Chuckles. I all I gotta here. all I gotta say is this. Um I think um Marshy and um you know, especially since you're building this for uh, my one-shot heroes, those two know that clowns are going to eventually show up. So, yes, that that was a good call. I am ready. It it is. It's the second most useful lore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, you think about it across all of our games. You know, from you know Monster of the Week, from Pathfinder, from you know D and D, whatever. There's always clowns involved somewhere. It's always clowns. Yep. Holy crap. Why is she going big brain and giving me clown lore? Yeah, that... <sighs> You'd love to see it. Oh, now it's where we get into the fun parts, huh? Oh, yes. All righty. What have we got? So each of these are actually really good. It just kind of depends on, you know, where you're from or where you want your um, character to be from and what type of um, heritage lore or that you want to start building from it. Oh, well, there's some uh, resistance here that I see. A Death Warden Dwarf sounds really cool. Yeah, I actually built one and it, it's pretty cool. If you get... A success on a saving throw against a necromancy effect. You get a critical success instead. Sounds neat. 
It's one of the following. Energy emanation activity. Well, that's something I have no idea about. Fire resistance. Fire is pretty popular, right? It is. Fire resistance wouldn't be bad. Oathkeeper, I'm not even going to read. It just sounds boring. <laughs> Oathkeeper. It's like, oh. Ugh. Fine, I'll, I'll follow the rules. I don't keep oaths. I'm a liar. <laughs> Hence what being the got? rogue. Somebody trying to shove or trip me? Nah, I don't need it. Too hardy for that. I don't need your bonuses. Poison resistance. Now, you also do have the opportunity to look at the uncommon um, okay. ones as well. All right. I mean... I mean... I'm just saying... I mean, yeah. Y'all make it sound real fun. It, hey, it is. <laughs> it is. But I think I'm going to stick with a common one for now. That's fair. What is ancient blood? Do you know? Any idea? Off Will it tell me somewhere around call here? Call on the ancient flood. Or ancient blood um, reaction. So it gives you a reaction that you can use. So where is it? Yeah. Gain a plus one circumstance bonus against saving throws against a magical effect. Yeah. Um, what was this one again? Specialty crafting. I don't want that. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Either Death Warden. I don't know what that means. Yeah, click on that one. This is what I just. Oh, it's all of them. If you. Oh, okay. Yeah, scroll okay. down. Uh, what was I looking at again? The elemental. Elemental heart. Yeah. Once per day, energy bursts forth from your body. You deal one d six damage of your chosen type. To all adjacent creatures. So basically, you know, you're just sitting there, and then you just go, Bruh! and everyone around you gets either inflamed, electrified, whatever. Depending right, on the so elemental. these are my these are my four options: Death Warden, Elemental Heart, Forge, or Strong Blooded. Those are the those are my choices. Those are my choices. I mean, elemental. Heart door sounds pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Did I do it right? Uh, we don't have a D4. Maybe we not. Have a D4. We only have a D6. Or is it just D4? It should be one D4. Or maybe I can't do it from the reroll. Hmm. Oops. Is it? Is it? Okay. I, I guess we just don't have a D4. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. We'll roll a D8. One, two, three, four, five, yep. six. No, we probably don't have that either. No, we Well, we might. <laughs> but I know what we have, and that's a D20. That's a five, so that's the second option. No, wait. Nope, that'll be One, the two, first. Three, four, five, yep. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It'll be the first option. Death Warden. You chose correctly. I like that. I like Death Warden. I mean, it sounds pretty cool. Yeah. It does help... Um, Tomb Guardians. Against um, Undead um, and Necromancy, because you're like, dude... It's like, oh, negative on you. And it's like, hmm. It's like, it doesn't hurt me as much as you think it may. Marcy, it's Pathfinder. What else are we going to do besides math? That's right. <laughs> it's it's not meth finder. Exactly. I 
am going to relinquish all control and let... Ooh. How many feats are there? Uh, a lot. Well, well um, the first level ones. Is that only these? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right. You, you stop throwing those tomatoes. They're not even rotten. <laughs> Marshy, since you've been throwing tomatoes, you get to pick the ancestry feet. It's all up to you. I leave this in your hands. <laughs> okay. Shut up, Cody. You're picking the next one. You're picking the class feet. Sucker. The challenge has been accepted. Put on your glasses, old man. It's not your turn. If you can't see, um, roll a roll a d twenty, and then we'll just make you re-roll if you get eighteen or higher. It's not. It's not Cody's turn. Marsh, you better get his butt back here. Stone cunning. Okay. Stone cunning. Except you have a knack for noticing even small inconsistencies in craftsmanship techniques in the stonework around you. You gain a plus two circumstance bonus to perception checks to notice unusual stonework. This bonus applies to checks to discover mechanical traps made of stone or hidden within stone. Uh, James, I expect you to put some uh, mechanical rock traps in the next one shot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Just for this character, I will. <laughs> <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> That is so great. All right. Cody rolled a two. Corinne rolled a 19. Okay, so two. Trap finder. Even better. <laughs> wow. It's like I found the stone trap. It was it was put here by Stone Ghost. Well done, Marshy. He he can sneak he can um, search out Stone Ghost real quick one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifty sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen corinne has given me medical researcher well you're trained in medicine so it makes sense it's beautiful now i get a racket what is a racket so this is because you're a rogue so um based oh this is the, this is what y'all were talking about yeah you could choose strength as your key ability score. Yeah, I'm thinking ruffian is probably going to be your your choice. I am not going to let y'all roll my racket, and I will choose ruffian. Yeah. I'll just read here. <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. Sounds right. Um, I'm a bounty hunter. Thank you. That is right. And don't you forget it. Don't you forget it. I'm trained in intimidation with all my charisma. And that's all right. When you hit level five, then you can start to boost up your charisma if you want to. You probably won't care, but you can. Probably not. Master proficiency in medium armor. Oh my god, I get dark vision! How exciting. Yes. I actually, in my D&D &D game, I am... the only person without dark vision? I think. <laughs> and it's actually come into play quite a few times. It does, yeah, it's like, it doesn't always, but when it does, man, yep. you're a hindrance. <laughs> Especially when I almost lit a torch in a gas-filled chamber. Because I rolled low on my perception check. Oh, man. Luckily, somebody else noticed, told me to stop, and cast the light spell. That's good. That's good. Going down my cat. All right, what else do you have? Um, I think now I just need my gear. 
All right. I need some gear. So let's go ahead and add your weapons. Add some weapons. Yeah, the maces Alrighty. aren't too pricey. Uh, make sure that when, when you're looking for them, make sure you get the ones that are, um, are single-handed, not a two-handed one. Uh, like the gnome flick mace? Um, that one you would have to be trained in because that's not a... What are these numbers? I feel like I remember talking about these numbers, but I don't remember what they mean. Um, I should say on there. Why is it? Boom. Boom. What are you? Tell me. Tell me you. Oh, that's for monks, it looks like. All right, so I'm looking for a light mace. Is that what it's called? Yep. Light mace. Give me two of you. Bye. Bye, please. Uh, gear. G -g -g gear. Defense. Gear. Now. Oh, for um the armor, yeah, you want to go over defense. Uh, oh, over defense. Yeah, and then right now you're unarmed. Um, and your yep. AC is fifteen. So what you can do is go around and look at the if you change it. Look for the different. Typically, me, um, but that's only if I have um, a decent dex, which you, you do. Um, I focus on, like, some of the leather ones, like studded leather. Studded leather. Studded. Studded leather. Dex cap of three, which I think is... Oh, I can't move this window. I think my dex is three. It's three gold, no speed penalty. What's a check penalty? So the check penalty is for, um, oh, what's it for? If you, if you open it up in um, Archives of Nethys. Is that this one? Yeah. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Explain yourself. Yeah, let me look that up because I don't remember exactly. Somebody explain what check penalty means. I am ignorant. Oh, uh, okay, okay. You know, when wearing this armor, you know, it takes a penalty to strength or dexterity based skill checks. So if if you needed to do like an um, acrobatics check and you're wearing heavy armor, then you would have um, like a minus, uh, you'd have a penalty because it's heavy armor. But this isn't even heavy armor. No, that's why it this should be. It's a check penalty of one. Well, being positive, that's kind of weird. Hold on a minute. Now that's some heavy armor. If you have the strength, you have no check penalty. Yeah. So if I... Okay, yeah. If I have a strength above 14... What you do? You have the, 18. The so. check penalty is negated. AC bonus three. This is not what we were looking at. This is what we were looking at. 
Yeah, you only need a 12 on strength. Now, what is it? What does a dex cap mean exactly? So does that dex go into armor? Yes. Well, into your armor class um, um, calculations. So if okay. So like for instance, if you have like super high dex, and then you have um, heavy armor, it's going to subtract. You you better hope that that heavy armor that you're wearing has a very large um, AC base. Um, otherwise, you're going to take away a lot of your decks, um, and and when that occurs, then you're going to end up with, um, you know, not much of a gain, I guess you can say. Because typically, what ends up happening is, I actually had a character where, you know, I had heavy armor, and it was like cool, but if you invest in dex in dexterity, then you're going to end up with you know, losing out on on other attributes that you could have been redistributing and then you're going to move slower because of heavy armor plus, you know, right. yeah. So, like if you had, had just straight up dex 10, then I would say heavy armor all day. Sure. But so effectively... This studded leather with an AC bonus of two and a dex cap of three, which my dex is three, for me, effectively has the same AC as the scale mail, which has an AC of three and a dex cap of two. Correct. Because together, that's five. And since I have the three, together, this is five as well. Correct. Which means, which would make studded leather better for me. It comes with less speed bonus, less bulk. I don't know what bulk is, but it sounds like the b bulk is pretty much the weight. So, and you can handle from your inventory. Typically, you know, especially with your strength of eighteen, you're not going to have any problems. I think. Um, gotcha. Yeah, if we play bulk, it ends up being, you know like 15 bulk before you're really truly having any issues oh my dex is only two not three. Oh, so actually mm. actually the studded leather does or the scale mail does become better because this is five but this is only four not this one you goose this only becomes four because i only have two decks Right? Yep. Okay. What are you? You're trash. Get out of here. Dex cap of four. Oh, oh. this is five. What was the other one? Scale mail. Also yeah. five. And I think way cheaper and lower penalties. Yeah, chainmail is super noisy. It's awesome. I'm just going to buy ceramic plate instead. Go with that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, I think I'm just, just going to stick with scale mail. Make it easy. I, I think I'm just going to grab, you know, some... Um, some styrofoam and some tape. Just wrap my body in it. Yeah, there we go. Can I... I want... I want only medium armor. I want to see medium. We'll just do this. There's no medium armor without speed penalties. Well, keep in mind, that's also... You know, for the strength, I believe. Oh, the, the speed penalty also is only if you don't have the strength to use it? Um, but I do have the strength. <laughs> well, it... it mm, let me see. I thought Feels so, like as I would have Marshy gonna, jump in there and chime in. If I'm going to be getting speed penalties, I probably want to shy away from that as a dwarf. Um, one way to find out when you equip it, then you'll look at your speed 
and if it drops yeah because you're um as a dwarf what's your speed is it 25 or is it 20 all right let's buy this real quick i haven't put it on yet my speed is 20 yeah it doesn't seem great uh it's those tree trunk legs you know what didn't i just buy it where did it go yeah, it's right there. You just have to, oh. if you click on it, you can, um, should be able to. Huh. See, I'm trying to remember <laughs> how you do it in here, but you should be able to just um, enable it. Just say give. Give it to me. There, there it is. is. Speed did not go down. Sweet. Armor AC went up to 18. All right, so we're looking here at these. That's it. What's the cheapest one? Hide armor. Three, two. It's not really going to matter. It's two gold pieces more. Don't matter. Don't matter none. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. AC 18. Okay. Perfect. And uh, where's all my spells? <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. I think that's I think that's it for my little level 1 dwarf. It is. And then, of course, a name. Perfect. A name. But you're not going to get privy to that name just yet. Not just yet. Instead, what we can do is we can show Marshy what we did previously. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Excellent. Got quite a few subs today. I know. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Heck yeah. I think we're up to like five or six at this point. So, uh, Marshy, I created, I was watching uh, some other folks play Pathfinder this Monday evening. Um, some folks. Oh. James, James will fix that. Um, it's certain death. He's a knight. He's a bit older. He's probably about your age, Marshy. You know, old. Oh wait, it's boy Marshy. Never mind. He's about Cody's age, old man age. But yeah, that's just a funny little uh, play on words NPC we we threw out there. But the other one, like I was saying, we. Uh, I was watching Dampiers on Monday and they had a troop, which I had never seen before. Uh, and I thought that was cool. So I figured we would make it a troop today. Uh, it's a troop of badge of pythons known as Pygers. And um, yeah, they come in all sorts of varieties. Uh, some of them have no arms. Some of them have front arms, and some of them only have back legs. Yep. Uh, like a swarm, but better. Now, yep. can you give? Yep. Uh, is there a is there a like pack tactics type ability in Pathfinder? So I don't know if you know what pack tactics is. Yeah, um, okay. with the the troops, their rules they do have um, a set of um, tactics that they can use, um, which is pretty cool. And they used it during the damp years. Um, I thought but, so. I thought I remembered yeah. him saying something like that. Yeah, because basically they regrouped, which prevented them from taking an attack of opportunity. I'm like, that's right. It's like that sucks. It went, <laughs> and Lobo was like. Be but, hungry. Yeah, he's like, where you go? 
but I was going to hit them. It's like, yeah, you're not going to be able to because when they regroup, it's like a five step, you know, five yep. foot step back and then they regroup and you're like, oh man. If there's like a swarm type of effect, that's definitely what these, these have got to have. Yeah, so that's what we did for the first half, and then the second half, we built Name Unknown. Yep, the Unknown Adventurer. Lots of lots of good stuff coming out of this uh, crafting check. The thing I'm excited about is, you know, what I'll probably do too is next time, you know, throw in um, this uh, as a fighter. So that you can see what the differences would be. And, um, yeah. Bogus Bug, the name. <laughs> Bogus Bug? We'll, we'll give it uh, a thought. And then we'll, we'll quickly decline. All right. Well, um, I'm going to ask my six and nine year old to name it instead. And it'll be like. Demon Slayer, the the fireball. Yeah, the second. <laughs> it's like the, the, second. the second. What? <laughs> because he's noble. It's like, oh, okay. We'll we'll get we'll give it some thought, Marcy. I'll put, I'll uh, rattle it around in the old brain cage. See how see how it feels. I didn't even know that you could start a stream without a category. Yeah. Um, I forgot to put, um, change it to Pathfinder and, and toss it in there. I was like, I kind of wish they had a category that was a little bit more um, generic tabletop, you know, RPGs or, you know, something like that Yeah. for this, but it doesn't seem that they do. But I, I did manage to get the, it all uh... in, the, in the tags, but that's still not, not enough. Well, I don't see um, love story in the tags, so. Oh man, that that was actually one of my favorite things I snuck in there, and they're like, "It's like, did you put in love stories?" Like, oh yeah, that's the fact that she saw it too was yeah. just so good. Love story. <laughs> and it's like, yep, in this session of damp years, um, they're gonna find a you know find someone that someone that Anna's gonna marry, and. Yeah, that was um, pretty damn funny. Perfect. Perfect. I appreciate chat helping me uh, create this character and you, James. Oh, my pleasure, man. I'm glad that you were able to hop on and, you know, so we can do um, another weird um, crafting check um, session. Yeah, I look forward to the next one with whoever you've got popping on next. Who knows? Maybe it'll be Marshy. Oh, it, if Marshy hops on here with me, it's going to be probably a whole lot of nonsense and laughter. I mean, we've already had our share of nonsense and laughter, um, Cody as well, but Mar Marshy gets um, very um, much into his voices, and I'm pretty sure that as boy. we create something, it's going to, each thing's going to have a voice. For sure. All right, well... Um, I'm sure we can find a way, little boy. <laughs> well, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, thanks, everybody, for joining us. And um, and special thanks to um, to Jared, a.k.a. Badger, yep. for hopping on and, um, you know, creating this most disgusting um, troop and swarm that... I am eagerly looking forward to creating a stat block for. It's going to be a good one. Yeah. And for those I can't that... wait until you throw both of these monsters at the dungeon or it's at the same time. Oh, they're, they're going to be so angry with me. <laughs> they're going to be so angry. They're, they're like, going to start a petition to stop crafting checks. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, um, enough of this because everyone's creating things that are just awful so please stop <laughs> all right well thanks avery old appreciate it avery uh, old 
Um, but definitely feel free to join us on some of our other stuff that we're going to be pushing heavily through our um, social medias and um, check out our YouTube at um, we're at um, reroll HQ. No, no, no. We're still at the original. Unfortunately, I'm not going to name it, but we have been rebranded as reroll. So still check it out. You'll find us. All right, all. Well, everyone have a good night, and um, thanks for um, crafting with us. Appreciate it, everybody. Thank you for having me, James. It was a ton of fun. Oh, there'll be another time. <laughs>